Chlobite? Ah, podnimite vaše ruke. Yeah, that's it. Podnimite yeah, vaše yeah. ruky. Yeah, good. That's that's it. I, I went podnimite here, and I thought that was jump. Sorry, I'm confusing myself <laughs> and everybody. Okay. I know that you're very close to each other, and I could see it last two days. So, uh, is it easier for work work together, or um, when you're so close, or it's a bit difficult because you always have to, I don't know, make compromise? Um, it can get stressful at times and I think us being so close really does help because Billy's my brother, I can't ever turn my back to him. We always mend our disagreements. And same with Charlotte, it's like uh, we are best friends. And when you do turn your back to me I say, turn and look at me, damn you! <laughs> oh yes, that's what one of our rules is, thou shalt not turn their backs to Billy, Yeah. <laughs> otherwise... I'm like there's, the, a, there's a massive fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the queen. You can never turn your back to me if you're in the same room as me. Uh -huh. Okay, good. <laughs> so how was it when you were a child? Was it fine or the same rules? A lot of fighting when we were kids, wasn't yeah. there? But usually it was Josh and I fighting other people, sometimes fighting each other, mostly about football. <laughs> um, yeah, we've... we've a lot of people used to confuse us for twins, probably not so much anymore, <laughs> no. um, because he can grow a beard and I can't. <laughs> yeah, and also he has a, a more usual uh, hair colour. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I was born with this, you yeah, know. I can imagine. He dyed his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I dyed my eyebrows brown. A girl yesterday just, just stroking my beard all night, she's going, you're so beautiful, your beard's so beautiful. It's, it's laziness, I can't be bothered to shave. <laughs> <laughs> so, please stop touching it. It's actually quite smelly. <laughs> How did you get that beard? I grew it myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> I, I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know that you uh, used to worry the very famous producers on uh, actually all your albums. So how was it to uh, uh, to work in the last album, and why uh, did you choose to work with famous producers? Just because they grabbed the attention to the band, or some any different reasons? Um, the main reason is pure luck. <laughs> um, we have been so lucky to have had um, Ian Brody produce the first album, Butch Vig produce the second, you know, the guy who made Nirvana, never mind, um, and Stephen Street on the third album, uh, the guy who made a lot of the Smiths albums and Blur. And, um, well, we've always just said to ourselves, OK, let's try and think of the best producers we can think of and then see if they want to make the album with us and every time they've said yes <laughs> which is amazing um, with Stephen Street on Money and Celebrity um, we were writing the songs in the rehearsal studio and I said to these guys Stephen Street would be so perfect for this album and after we made the demo CD, I gave it to our manager, Ben, mm -hmm. and I said, the first person you give this CD to has to be Stephen Street. Um, and a week later, I got a phone call from Stephen Street saying, love the songs, let's make the album. So it was just a stroke of luck, I guess. Um, and also managerial skills. We're getting to the stage now where we're making all the decisions for ourselves. Um, writing the songs, phrasing the songs, melodies, lyrics, um, all the structures, um, how it should sound, why it should sound like that. Um, so I think, you know, we're, we're turning into producers ourselves and I think on the next album we want to make all the decisions. Um, we want to decide what direction each song goes in and how it sounds. So, yeah, the Subway's producing the next album. <laughs> hey. Okay, it's very interesting for me because you are from one family and uh, not all parents are excited when their children are in the rock band. What's about yours? Our par Josh and I, our parents loved it. They actually um, they helped us a lot uh, in the early days. Well, your parents did as well. Mm -hmm. Your parents lent us a... Uh, Charlotte's mum and dad loaned us a car for <laughs> our first tour. Yeah. My dad's people carrier. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's great to have, um, like, Billy and Josh's dad are still on tour with us now, he's the drum tech, and it is great to have that support from family and friends as well, and just to have everyone rooting for you, and it's really exciting when we play home shows to have all our friends and family there. Do, you, uh, do they come and jump in the circle? <laughs> Your cousins do. My cousin does, yeah. My, my cousin is always in the circle pit, <coughs> crowd surfing. Always <laughs> waving hello. He waves 
he comes over the top, it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, uh, Kate, last night was so scared when you jumped in the crowd because she thought it's a crazy fan and he died and, and the telecom will be closed. <laughs> and it was just, a, do, you, do you usually do it? Yeah. Everywhere. Um, Everywhere. I love it. I love finding a place to die from. <laughs> It's the first thing I do when I walk into a venue. I go, okay, where can I dive off of? Uh, that speaker looks good. And as soon as we went into Tele Club yesterday, um, I saw the scaffolding and I thought, perfect. I've got to dive off that. So it looks like you have to play every show like the last one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I truly expect that I will die on stage. Or off stage. Yeah. How uh, do you usually uh, write lyrics, and do you write something a part of lyrics, like m novels, uh, I don't know, books? Uh, a lot of the time, um, I'll write in the middle of the night. Um, I'll wake up and I'll suddenly just pick up my phone and sing into my phone and record it, and then go back to sleep. And in the morning, I will wake up and check, and usually it's. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but sometimes there is actually something interesting there. I've been having this great discussion with other songwriters recently and um, I've been finding that they also, when they listen back to their albums, f five or six months after they've recorded it, finally realise what the song is about. Mm -hmm. They go, that's why I wrote that song. Um, because you're so lost in the process, you're so busy writing the song, sometimes you, you lose Or, or you don't realize the real core idea of the song. And so sometimes it's a surprise for me as much as it is for you guys or them. You don't need the money to have a good time, so what's your best uh, way to have fun without money? Um, well, Part of bowling with pigs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't bring your pigs in here. Um, uh, well, obviously, the best way to have a good time is without any clothes on. But if you had to have clothes on. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> um, if you had to have clothes on. I sounded so dirty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> dirty. Um, no, if you had to have clothes on to have a good time, I would say the first thing I'd do is get my friends together because you, you don't need anything else when you've got your best friends with you. You can always find a good way to have a good time when you've got people that you love around you. Um, and steal some booze. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's very nice but you dress up when you're meeting some friends or new people. <laughs> Just make sure when we have a good time we're wearing clothes, Billy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what's about you, Charlotte? Um, well, Billy did pick a very good one. Um, but, um, What, the sex? <laughs> All the friends. The friends. Okay. <laughs> And sex. <there. laughs> so, so you were talking about sex, oh, not yeah, just you, you. You like spend time naked. Um, <laughs> these guys know that I very well. You. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Um, well, I love running. I'm a runner, and that's free. And that's one of the reasons that I do it, because it's just easy. You put on your running shoes, you go outside, you just run. Easy. Mm -hmm. Actually, Josh, doesn't Charlotte love running a bit too much? It's quite obsessive. <laughs> In fact, for such a healthy thing, it's very unhealthy how much you love it. <laughs> so what about you, Josh? It's probably illegal, so I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it, it will require money to get Josh out of jail <laughs> after he's done it. That's pretty cool. So, uh, can you tell me about your education? Yeah. Um, well, for me, there really wasn't very much of it. <laughs> um, I'm mostly self-educated. Um, but, yeah, uh, I got some GCSEs, which is what you get when you're 16. Um, I got okay, okay GCSEs, and then after that I left school. Um, Charlotte was a super student. I was just a geek. <laughs> Every, everyone looks back on their school times and talks about all the scrapes they got in and the trouble they got it in. And I just look back and go, oh, I've got my homework in on time every day. <laughs> I, wish I'd done, I wish I'd been a bit bad now. She never had a single detention. No, I didn't ever. No, I'm so boring. <laughs> Josh was the naughtiest student in the school. <laughs> so that's a story about uh, how to have fun illegal, right? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't put me in the spot. I don't want to have that. <laughs> I, I, I had his teacher coming up to me. I'm not proud of what I'd done yeah. in school. And saying, 
I don't know what's happening to your brother, Billy. <laughs> He's turned into such a naughty boy. <laughs> It's a good thing he got into rock and roll. Well, yeah, no <laughs> comments. No comments. So you have now uh, went to university now? No, Charlotte was very close. I was going to go, but being in a band was... Uh, I probably shouldn't say this if she was <laughs> yeah, Char- I decided to be in a band instead. Yeah. Charlotte was going to be the new uh, Jean-Paul Sartre. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to be the new Aristotle, <laughs> the new Jacques Derrida. Um, she was uh, going to study philosophy. So yeah. it's very fault that you were in a band. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, whom you wanted to be when you were a child? Um, wow. Um, for a while, I wanted to be... Um, uh, Kurt Cobain, uh-huh. uh, but recently I've, uh, um, oh, don't know. Uh, recently he died and it was very sad. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, you know, I used to have dreams of saving him when I was a kid. Um, but recently I've, I've wanted to be Craig David. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, um, I think he's a genius. Um, he's the new Michael got a Jackson. Nice house. <laughs> yeah, he's got a nice house. And he goes, Craig David. <laughs> I'd like, every time I met someone, I'd like them to go, Craig David. Re, E, wine. When the crowd says, oh, Craig David. <laughs> <laughs> What's about you, a part of philosophy? Um, well, when I was really, really little, I used to want to be an air hostess. Because <laughs> I used to love going on planes. I Come on, show us your air hostess. <laughs> it's because I like going on planes, I like foreign languages, and um, I liked travelling. But I was, like, what, seven at the I'll, time. I'll be the, I'll be the guy on the loudspeaker, you do the directions. <laughs> that's that's okay. not a bad job, actually, because job. I have only three years to become the, the steward on the plan, and I, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah that's the, that's. A good job. All right, well, you guys have got to be <laughs> yeah. okay. I'll be there. No, 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 no. And uh, <laughs> and halfway down the plane. No, no, no. Go on, go on. You got it. All right, you've got to do it then. Okay. You have to be the okay, okay. Uh, uh, and uh, welcome to the flight to uh, Yekaterinburg. And uh, I am your pilot today. I actually wanted to be a pilot when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, Billy Lunn, and uh, here we are with the uh, security briefing. Um, <laughs> The life jackets are stowed underneath your seats, and uh, in the event in the event of a crash, you will need to inflate your life jacket with this toggle, and uh, you can uh, use point. yeah point the tab. Yeah. And, that was doing really well. Yeah, and here is your whistle. <laughs> the emergency exits are at the front. Oh, the front of the cabin, at the middle of the cabin, and at the rear. You got like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That's such a good. That's, what I to do. that's such a good job. What about you? Coincidentally, I wanted to be a pilot. Yeah. <laughs> but on hindsight, I think it was a good choice not to follow that career. <laughs> I would be a good one. I'd be like Roly Poly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this baby oh. can do. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. I'm going to steal this off you now. <laughs> you were so... Oh. No, 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 that's not the end. Okay, <laughs> so, so, so... And the last question, uh, how, how often do you change the hair color and why is it blue? Um, I, I change it um, every tour. So the last tour uh, we played on, it was um, red. red. Yeah, it was a very deep red. Um, and uh, this time it's blue. I chose blue um, because... I don't know, I wasn't quite sure about going green. Uh-huh. Um, but at some point I do want to go green and I thought blue might be quite nice um, because it's quite wintry. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm gonna go green next time for the next tour. After that, do you know, I really, really want to go um, bright purple with a little bit of silver at the front. <laughs> they would look like a superhero. Who would I look like um, out of um, X-Men? X-Men. <laughs> Crazy person. Oh, a crazy what? person. <laughs> I, think, I think that's probably more fitting yeah, 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 yeah. than any character. But I always, just, just a loony. Have, you have more than two tours, so the, the, the blue, red, and that's all? Uh, oh, no, I'll try different shades. Um, um, at a certain point, pink. maybe pink. Yeah, definitely. Right pink. Uh, pink is on the cards. It's very nice that you're not pink today because we couldn't take you to the bowling. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, well, well I like a small little pig. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with this belly. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you too much. Go, go into play bowling. <laughs> <laughs>